getting help from a team of healthcare professionals who wouldn't elaborate on that. Do you think that's enough? Well, for start, he needs some duct tape because those those type of comments are absolutely unbelievable. It's such an embarrassment for, for our beautiful city. He, uh, he had his wife standing beside him just now as he uh, made the apology and said that these latest revelations have pushed him over the edge, that he sees red, and that that was just him speaking off the cuff. You know, my heart goes out to his family, his wife, his kids. I can't, I'm, I can't imagine what they're going through. But enough is enough. We, we can't even take him seriously in the, in, the, in the council chamber or the city. He, he cannot be trusted with anything, especially his mouth, and it needs to be duct taped, and he needs help immediately. What do you think what it was? Do you think what about do you, this him morning? pushing his way through the borders like that with security instead of taking the back way out of his, his office? I didn't see that, but it's not a surprise. It's inappropriate. It's, it's, we shouldn't be tolerating this. Again, your reaction to this morning, what he said this morning in his scrum. Deplorable, disgusting, offensive. You know, um, you know, I can't even imagine this, you know, it's such an insult to, to our council chamber, to Toronto, to women, um, to everyone. Thanks very much. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you. Women, to everyone. What, how does the city move forward through this? It's, it's one more apology after another. You know, we turned our backs on him on council said we can't take him seriously. We don't, you know, it, it's, it's hard, but we're functioning and we're trying to stay focused. But, you know, he's not addressing the issue. And then he exacerbates the problems with comments like this that are so demeaning to women. Mayor Ford says he's getting help from professionals. He didn't want to elaborate on that. Is that a step in the right direction? He needs to duct tape himself in the meantime because it's, it's unbelievable. Where does council go from here? What about tomorrow's meeting? I don't know. I, I'm worried about it, but we have to move forward and do the best we can. We had, had 69 items on our agenda this morning. We're just trying to persevere and go forward. You're a mom and you brought your mom here for Bring Your Kid to Work Day in grade nine, and you're, you and your daughter expressed, specifically you, expressed concern about Mayor Ford leading a group of grade nine students yeah. through his office. As a mom, how do you explain what's going on here to your teenager? Well, uh, my daughter was commenting on the Jesus comment this morning and how it's, um, excuse me. And so we're in the middle of a conference room. Um, and how Jesus never smoked crack or um, or lied to people. So that's, you know, you're, you're constantly having to explain it. I can't walk down the street. I can't go to the grocery store. My kids, you have to explain it to everyone all the time. <laughs> And Mayor Ford just went back into the conference. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Councillor, for joining us. And so